Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Turn with me quickly, if you have your Bibles, to the book of John chapter 16. John 16. I'm going to read from verse 23 to 27. And verse 33. Praise the Lord. Amen. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but in time to come, when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day you shall ask in my name, and I said not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. Amen? For the Father himself loveth you. Because you have loved me and have believed that I come out from God. Verse 33. These things have I spoken unto you. That in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Somebody say amen to the reading of God's word. I want to speak to you this morning on the topic, the overcoming Christian. I said the overcoming Christian. Somebody say, I am an overcomer. Say, I am an overcomer. I'm speaking to you today on the overcoming Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. And I love the word of God. Amen. Verse 24 says, He that so have you asked nothing in my name, ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Amen. So one thing that God loves is for our joy to be full. Amen. In other words, believers must have joy. Even in tribulation, you must have joy. Amen, somebody. Even in what tribulation, you must what? Have joy. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Verse 26 says, At that day you shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. In other words, in these days, the days of the Spirit, amen, that the church is born, amen, when he was with them, he was praying for them. Amen. But now we say, we too we shall pray and the Father will answer us because the Father himself loves us. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. The Father himself loveth us. So the Father himself now wants us to ask and we shall receive. Hallelujah, somebody. See, so that our joy might be full. That's why I keep on telling you, amen, that you don't serve God in vain. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, every word that is spoken, I want you to hold it that this is your word for life. Amen, somebody. Don't believe any words that come from the devil as if serving God is in vain. No. Hallelujah. Many times circumstances rise. Amen? Amen. That can trigger doubt to enter our life. Our faith can be shaken sometimes. I want to say something to somebody. 
that's the time you know whether you have faith or not. When something happens. Amen? When you cry, say, ah, but I've been praying. I was watching one movie yesterday. Let me just summarize. Make sure everybody watched that movie. I send it out. I want you to watch it. Amen, somebody? Make sure you go home and watch, and watch that movie. It's called growth. Amen? It's a Christian testimony of faith in China. How did how the, the government is pursuing people, believers. You have a Bible, they jail you. They know that you're a Christian, they will knock at your door. Hallelujah. You are walking, sorry, you'll be fired. If they know that you are practicing Christianity. And it's a life story. It's a true life story. Amen. Of a woman. Praise the Lord. Everything was going on well for her. For her. Amen. God started blessing them. They were, they, they, he, he, her and the husband were married. And God started blessing them. The husband was having a good job. She also had a store. Amen. Doing good business. Everything was going on until the government starts cracking down on believers. Amen. That the husband came home and said, they said we must stop this Christianity. Otherwise, they will fire me. Otherwise, they will not give me. If I, if I stop, they, give, they are going to give me my promotion. Amen, somebody. Money will come. Praise the Lord. Our daughter's scholarship will continue. But if they know that we are believers, they will stop it. Hallelujah. It started small. But the, the intensity increases. Amen. Pressure increases. Until the husband now, who was also now saying he's a believer too, started shaking. My job, my career. I've worked for it. Amen, somebody. Now the message, they start giving him, let, they give him a letter now, take it home. If anybody's a Christian in your house, go and sign this document and return it that you will not practice Christianity. Amen, somebody. He brought it home to the wife. The wife looked at it. He said, you know I'm not bowing down to my faith. I'm a Christian. The man get, starts getting hot. Choose whether this is your religion business or the family and our joy. Choose which one you choose. Do you choose the family or you choose this your religion? The woman say, I stand with my faith. I serve God. It means somebody. Until time came, the man starts smoking. Go back to the whole habit. Begin to do the old things. Start beating up. Where did you come from? Prayer meeting because they have to hide to go to meetings. Amen. They have to hide as if they are going somewhere. A mechanic store will be there, and then they will come as if one will come with their motorbike and say, Oh, my bike, I need repair. <laughs> Amen. Somebody say, Oh, thank you. you come take the bike. And they are spies standing on the street watching to see people are coming like they are coming to church. Amen. Somebody. So he make his garage. Amen. So you come as if you come to repair your car or your bike. And then once you pack, you open the body as if he's fixing. And one person will be out there making as if he's working. It's a lie. And then they'll sneak and go inside. That's where they'll be stored in the Bible. Amen, somebody. And the messages has been going around that they are arresting people. They are losing everything. This man keep on standing in this woman's way. So you are not going anywhere. Amen. You know, most times, you know, Bible studies are in the evening. So after work, it will come home quick. So as soon as the woman wants to go, we stand by the door. Where are you going? You are not going nowhere. No more, no more Christianity here. Amen. Somebody he started beating the wife, beating her, bleeding her. You are not going anywhere. But the woman persists. Say, I will not give up my, my, my salvation. See, Jesus paid too much price. I've come this far. Amen. Somebody. She persisted until the man gets frustrated. Well, if this, if this is your religion business, you want to take it now bigger than the family. You want to take this, your God business now, bigger than our own well-being. You want us to die? You want your daughter not to have scholarship? Da, 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 da. Da, da. Who will feed the house? Da, 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 da. Amen? You say, if you don't stop it, you begin, begin to follow the woman wherever she's going. 
Wherever she's going, and when she comes, she will, he will beat her. He realizes that he cannot change the woman. So, well, we have to divorce. See, because you have to choose. You, if either you choose the family or you choose your salvation. Amen, somebody. She choose. She said, I choose my God. Because if there is no God, there will not be family. Amen, somebody. The movie touched me last night when I watched it. Amen. The old man go ahead and say, we'll be a divorce. Until she went to her Bible study meeting, she explained to the other sisters and brothers that are there, you know, they pray with her. They say, it is well. The Lord will see you through. But the, the, ten, the tension become so hard. She, she told us, I will not bow. Amen. The other day, he went to the store and the people came, the, the police went to the woman's store. Say, we heard that she's practicing, practicing Christianity. And he was there. He said, oh, don't, don't worry, I'll take care of that. I'll take care of that. And they, I think you know one of the policemen. Amen. He said they went to school together a long time ago. Earlier. So he talked to him. He said, oh, don't worry, I'll handle it. Don't worry, no Christianity, no, no religion business here, no. Amen. He went home. Give, him, give her a good beat again. So you see, they, they went to the store now. They are looking, they are chasing. Now they are knocking at doors. But that woman stands still, stands very strong. Hallelujah. The, 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 the husband went ahead, divorced, because why? He wants to maintain his prestige. He wants to maintain his job. But he was a believer before, now he has turned. Now doing the wrong things again. I'm helping somebody here. Just like how Jesus was tempted. Not so? Say, bow to me, I will give you everything in the world. It's happening. It's a life story, true story. Amen. Somebody. That's why Jesus said, "If you don't, if any man does not leave father, mother, brother, sister, child, job, land, and everything to follow me, say he's not my disciple." I saw it yesterday in that movie. This is not a movie. It's real something. Amen. Where does your faith stand? So the divorce took place. Say, well, it's like we are going two different places. I will never give up my faith. It's like you have turned away from God. It's like we cannot meet. They took time on that deliberation. The man keep on beating him. No way. I need my life. I have to. This is this is the, the, the party that is in power. I cannot bow down. Otherwise, I will suffer. I will not suffer for nothing. They made somebody, but that woman persisted until the man go ahead for the divorce they go they did it and now she's she, she have to live out of the house a daughter alone they have one daughter have to stay in the house amen because she have to live once in a while he will come home but the, the, the daughter was alone they started mocking the girl at home people began to come to the to the apartment knocking the girl alone was home Frightened, police will come. Neighbors will come because they, they, they came to the neighborhood. Say, if anybody, and they know her now, they, I begin to ask for her because by that time she was out of there. They said, if anybody see her, they must report because that was, the, that was the issue. They will put people in your neighborhood, people in your building, people in your workplace to tell. She was out with the believers. Hallelujah. And then the news came that they said, oh, because they beat, they beat the daughter. When they go, they don't see her. If you don't tell us, we do something bad to you, everything. Until she developed some, some problem. And they said she have cancer. And she began to cry, God, why do you allow this to happen to my daughter? You said you would take care of me. Hallelujah. Amen. And her faith seems like her faith wants to go weak. And in that moment, she never gave up. She was still studying the word of God. She began to find scriptures that says that when you face persecution here on earth, spiritually there is war going on between God and the devil. He said, when your faith goes down, the devil is winning. But when you remain strong, say the Lord is winning. Amen, somebody. 
She keep on studying. She keep on coming to the Bible study. Keep on studying. Amen. The words of God continue to encourage her. Continue to make her stronger and stronger. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Until she overcame that. And then the, the little girl was, go, was going for a surgery. She prayed. And the girl went for the surgery. And after that, the girl wrote a letter to her mom. Say, Mom, I thank God. Before I went, I prayed. And after that, I just feel peace. And I just slept. When I woke up, the doctor said it was so easy. Everything went well. Mom, I'm okay. But she almost gave up in the beginning. But because she, she continued studying the word of God, persistent faith, she overcame. Amen, somebody. Yeah, the husband did not come back because he wants to serve money. Amen, somebody. But that woman stayed with fellow believers and her life continued with joy and peace. The Lord restored peace unto her. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus said, we have overcome the world. No matter what you are going through, don't allow circumstance to dwindle your faith or to take you out of God. When you are strong, you become giants in the faith. Amen, somebody. The people we are reading every day in the Bible, these are people, amen, somebody, who struggle for the, for the word of God. I told you before that we are pilgrims here. We have few moments on planet earth. Very soon we shall see the father. We shall be with him. Where will we be? It's more important than what we can eat here or what we can wear here. I'm asking you to somebody here. What shall it profit a man if he go in the old wall and loses his soul? You can have the best job. You can have a big bank account. You have a big money. But if you don't have Jesus, you are nothing, the Bible says. What can we tell unbelievers? If we cannot face circumstance and be strong in the Lord, if circumstance can make us lose our faith, how can we show that we are believers? At one time, when the woman was lamenting, after she overcame, amen, amen, as she was studying the word of God daily, she came to realize something, that the Lord opened her eyes to see. He said, in this time, these years that I've been struggling, he said, the Lord opened my eyes to see something. He said, the Lord spoke to him. He said, my people come to me because of salvation they want to be in heaven my people come to me because i will bless them i will provide for them my people serve me when everything is good my people serve them when i give them family they are happy my people serve me amen somebody when there is money in the bank my people serve me when they are well they are looking good my people serve me because of what they want from me he said, but when I take it from them to see if they really love me, see, they turn away from me. That's what God did to Job. God was blessed. Job was blessed. But God said, said him, he took it from him. Even his wife said, this God, too much God, cost God and I. Do you know sometimes you don't say cause God and die, but when you turn your back against God or the things of God, you are, you are saying it. In other words, I want to survive, so let this God business go. I want to have a good relationship with my wife. I want to have a good relationship with my husband. I want to good, have a good relationship with my job, with my boss. I want to have a good relationship with my family, with my friend. If it can, if it can endow my relationship with them, I have to leave God. Let me please man. Where does your faith lie? Do we have faith? Can you, sir, let us search ourselves this morning. Do we have faith? That's the word. 
do we have faith in God or do we have faith in God because of what we want from God? Or because of what he can do for us or because of what he has done for us. If God take it from you, will you still stand in the faith? Will we still stand in the faith? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. There is a hymn that read, Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moment and my days. Let them flow in endless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing always only for my king. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee. Take my silver and my gold. Not a might would I withhold. Take my intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose. Hallelujah. Take my will and make it thine. It shall no longer be mine. Amen. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Amen. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at my feet, at thy feet. It's treasure store. Take myself, and I will ever only all for thee. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Do we really love God? Yes, sir. Do we really have faith in God? Where was that? Where is our faith connected? Is it only for that healing? Is it only for that blessing? Is our faith connected to the cross of Jesus Christ? If any man should come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. Are we ready to take up the cross? But the Lord opened my eyes recently. The blessings are there. But where is our faith? Hallelujah. It's time to cross over. I say it's time to cross over. Hey, bye. Because if you are strong in faith, when circumstances rise, you will overcome it. Hey, bye. Amen, somebody. But if you refuse to cross over, when circumstances rise, you will not be able to bear it. Hallelujah, somebody. Let us practice true Christianity. Amen, somebody? Let us practice what? True Christianity. The unbelievers, at least let me let you know something. The unbelievers are laughing at us. Unbelievers or other religious people, they are laughing at us because they know we are not steadfast. They know every little thing we can be shaken. Stop going to church or stop reading the Bible or stop talking about Jesus. We rather keep what we have than Jesus. We protecting what we have than protecting our salvation, but than protecting our faith. What do you choose? As for me, I'm ready to die. If I die now, I'm very happy. You know why? Too much trouble in the world is over. And I'm going to live happily forever. That is where our, our focus should be. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. To live e happily ever after. In faith. Don't, don't be shaken in faith. Be strong. The more you are stronger in faith, like Job, the Bible says at the end, God gave Job double than what he had before. And your persecution, he never said they would not come. Amen, somebody. Look at verse 33 again, John 16, 33. He said, these things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world 
ye shall have what? Tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He has already done it for us. Amen, somebody. Amen. When God takes something away from you, don't judge God. Don't curse God. Be strong in faith. Father, I thank you. That's why Job said, Amen, the Lord giveth, the Lord has taken away. But my faith in him will never shake. Can you stand the test of time? Can you be a Job today? Can you be a Job today? That we stand for the truth. One thing about that woman that I learned, even though when she come from work, she will pass to Bible study, the husband will ask him, you go to Bible study, right? She never lied. She will say yes. Some of us will say, I just do just small lie. Small lie has, has made many believers liars today. Because they think everything is small lie. Amen, somebody. And today the devil has blinded the eyes and the minds of many, including their ears, that today believers don't want to hear the truth. Where are we going? Are we buying to the devil's temptation? Every day he's putting all these things before us. Just bow to me and we give you this. We are forgetting the blessings that the Lord has promised us. And what he has also given us already. That was he had given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. When you are going through circumstances, amen, hold on, keep trusting God. If you have been praying and praying and praying, even if God did not answer, still hold on to God. Amen. 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 I was telling somebody, I said, I am not God. If I pray for you, for example, God did not answer, did not heal you. I said, you want to blame me? No, keep on calling to him. You know why? He, maybe he's testing your faith. Are we together? Most people today have made pastors become liars. Are we together? We are not God. We are his, his, his tool he's using. So he determines when he can use us, when he don't use us. The Bible said, even Jesus himself, Amen. You have been preaching, preaching, and he said one day, he said the spirit to heal was present. Then he starts healing them. Are we together? So if I, I might come today, I sing. Did I don't sing? Say, ah, today's service is not sweet. Pastor did not sing. You want me to become Michael Jackson? Say, did they pastor don't Michael Jackson? Ah, service is not sweet. It's like every word where I'm speaking, even if God, you, you can't hear, all you want to see is pastor singing. That is lack of faith in God. Amen, somebody. Amen. I want to build a church that can be an army for God. Amen. God bless you as you are clapping. Let us stand together. Let us stand together. Amen. Amen. The reason we are together is when we are together, we strengthen each other. But if you, if you neglect the assembly of the brethren, you'll be alone. And when you're alone, what, 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 what happened? It's like, an, like, like the forest. When the, when the lion wants to kill an animal, it will not attack when there are many. It will scare them off with a roar or something. And then as many of them are running, it will try to cut off one. Because you know, when you're alone, you're weak. You can't stand him. Are we together? So the more you don't come to hear the word of God, the more you don't fellowship, the more you're alone. And the more you're alone, I tell you something, the more you cannot read the Bible. Even when you try, you have no understanding. You are just reading a literature. Amen, somebody. Let's take our Christianity beyond normal sense. Christianity is not normal sense. Those who were here for Sunday school, I believe even that 30 minutes you learned something. If you were here for Sunday school, clap for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are many things that can be written, but if we just stick with the word of God, the difference will be seen. 
But the most important thing, let heaven win the battle that you have put me in. So any circumstance you face yourself, amen, somebody, tell yourself, God will win in this battle. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, God will win in this battle. God will win this Because battle. when your faith shrink, when you stop serving God, the devil is winning. Yes, sir. Because the battle that is fought is for mankind. Hell and the lake of fire is prepared for the devil and his host of demons. But the devil is fighting so that mankind that God loves so much can also go there. Yes, sir. Why heaven is fighting. That's why he sent his only son. Amen, somebody. Shed his blood, living sacrifice for the remission of sin of the entire world. Are we together? Yes, sir. So that we will make it to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. So when that faith continues to be strong, heaven continues to win. When your faith weakens, the devil wins. Is it sickness? Let heaven win in that sickness. Tell him, Father, I thank you because you are testing me like Job. Because I'm already blessed. Nothing can shake my faith. Amen, somebody. Are you facing marital problem? Say, because of your God business, well, we have to separate. Amen, somebody. Who will you stand for? Is it at your job? They say they're only employing believers, uh, unbelievers. They're only promoting the unbelievers. Say, I've, I've, I've sacrificed too much in that, in that job. Are you afraid to leave it and find a new job? Until you test God, you cannot prove it. Take my life and let it be always only all for thee. Are we really ready to serve God? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the Lord. Listen up. This time of your life in Christ is your formative years that God is using to prepare you for your future. Amen. There is greater future ahead of you. When you are in your formative years. Hallelujah. In this your Christian journey, if you are not strong in faith, if you are slow in faith, you will die slow. Hallelujah. If you are a person that is always tardy and always late, you will miss your place in the kingdom. You are never late to go to work. You are never late to go to an interview. You are never late to go to places. But we are always late to come to church. You will never be a leader hanging behind and coming in late. Now when you picture the military, amen, the captain is always in the front and not behind. Hallelujah. If you have to be a captain in, the, in God's kingdom, you have to be in the front. I remember on Wednesday I said let all the men come in the front for Bible study and it was so exciting. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Because God is looking for a man. He's looking for somebody. That we take up the gospel. Because the gospel never die. Heaven and earth. Amen. We pass. He said, my word will never pass. Amen, somebody. But if you want to be a captain, you must learn to lead. Hallelujah, somebody. Those who love the front receive the first. Remember, the anointing, the glory comes from the altar. You come in early, you are receiving more. Amen, somebody. Don't love the back for too long. Temptation always comes, starts from the back. 
The back is where the talking starts. The back is where the little noise starts. If you're at school, I always monitor my children. Where do you sit in class? If they put them in the back, I go to the next meeting. I want my child in the front. I know some of you have never checked where your children sit. Check it. It's very important. Let your children sit in the front. Amen, somebody. It's very important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And listen up. After you are, you are, you are, after you are in the front, you become a target. You want me, don't, don't expect me to come and lie to you. Amen. After being at the front, you become a target. Because the devil, amen, will come after you. Because the more you come closer to God, the more God will test you. But if you are afraid of God's test, you keep on being at the back, then it's easy also for you to fall away from God and make it to hell. He still wants you to the front because he still wants to use you, he still wants to bless you. Amen, somebody? Thank you, Jesus. I remember in, in my early 20s, amen, when I just passed my teens, that was around the early 2000s, amen? That is when the gospel of Jesus Christ began to come together and make sense in my life. Amen? I began to have deep revelation and at the same time confusion, Amen? between lust of the flesh and faith in God. Are we together? You are in between. Most some of you are in between. Are we together? But I did not give up my salvation. I keep fighting. I keep holding on. Amen? And Jesus did not let me down. So if you are here, Jesus will not let you down. But you, at the same time, you have to be determined to know who you are. Amen, somebody? If you give in too much to the flesh or to the world or to lust or to money and to so many things, you will not please God. And you will never be called. You will never fulfill your destiny. Hallelujah. I was in a level in my life where money was nothing. Amen. I remember one day I, I was at the mechanic place, not here back home. Amen. And I was sat, sitting with one man. He also was, he was opposite the garage. He had a three-story big house. Hallelujah. And as we were talking, the position that I was holding, amen, in International Committee of the Red Cross, that's the position he was also uh, um, having at, at UN. Amen. And then he was telling me, he said, man, you are sleeping. He said, you see, this house is mine. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do I know the game? Yes, I know the game. But one thing I have in me, the fear of God. Amen, somebody. I cannot swap two bowsers of fuel. You know how many millions is that? I'm the one that order. I'm the one that approve it. I'm the one that see that everything is... I'm the one that sign it and process it. And they trust me already. So I could just make one and just... Even I remember one time, even the accountant... Amen. In my office, you know, the pressure was mounting. Say, say, boss, what, what's happening? Can't we do one? <laughs> Hallelujah. I could have remained to swim in money. But you know he's not alive today. That man is dead. Even before I left Sierra he was dead. You don't know the trap of the enemy. You can get many things. And lose your life and go to hell at the same time. Double punishment. You suffer for nothing. Somebody else is enjoying it now. If he was married, I believe he's another man now enjoying it. There are some things. Let them go. If you, if you believe God, believe God. Are we together? If you have faith in God, stay with God. Be strong. Thank you, Jesus. Are you with me today? 
If you are getting something, clap for Jesus. There are no losers that keep going. Amen? They are not losers that what? Keep going. Hallelujah. So if you will keep moving with all your heart, you will win. Say amen. You have chosen a good path to follow Jesus. Amen. You have, fallen, you have chosen a good path to follow Christ. Never feel discouraged. Sometimes I say, oh, but I see other people getting this. Even the unbelievers getting this. Why am I not? Why is mine taking too long? Oh, before things look good. Why now that I'm serving Jesus? Why now? Because now you know better. Amen, somebody. If you have never put God to test, from today put God to test. Hold on. Be strong. Don't question God. Just know that whatever I'm going through now, God is tempting my faith. It's testing my faith to see if I will stand the test of time. And don't give God time. Amen, somebody. Don't give God time. Sometimes we'll give God time. But I prayed from last, from last year to this year, everybody come, they testify. I'm still waiting. God, no. I thought Pastor loved me. I thought he would come to my house to pray and fast with me. I've prayed and fast enough. I am not God. But at the same time, God wants you to be strong. Don't give up. Say, oh, we pray, pray, pray. Some of you now, you don't come for prayer meetings on Friday. It's like you have becoming tired. I've been praying too much. Bible study. Some of you don't come Bible study anymore. And your faith is dropping. I said something on Thursday. How many of you were alive with me on Thursday? Wednesday, Thursday. How many of you? Put your hands up. Praise the Lord. I mean, if you watch after. Praise the Lord. You must keep on growing in the Lord. Amen. Amen. You have chosen a good path to follow Jesus. Remember in life, you make decisions. Decisions don't make you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You cannot reverse decisions that you've already made. So be careful about making decisions. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Because you are here, because you are a child of God, continue to work hard. Continue to press on. Don't let anything take the place of God in your life. Amen? Do you know how your life is? Your life is like, what example will I give here? Can somebody give me that oh, that's, that tray? Yes, this offering tray. Bring it for me. No, the offering tray, the tray itself. Yes, bring it. Don't worry. Amen. Now, your life is like this. Amen. You have more money. <laughs> that's temptation too. That one is temptation. It's not part of my preacher. I just want to tempt you. Amen. You have more money. Say the truth. I'm not, you're not giving more offering. <laughs> He have money, but he don't have cash. Say, I don't have cash. Don't have cash. Uh -huh. Clap for him. Clap for him. Amen. There is no poor man in this church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I saying? Now, you see this bowl? It's like your life. This is how God wants you to be. To be here. Amen. God occupies your life. 
Now, any time you refuse God from occupying your life, something else is occupying your life. At every second, at every time, every day. Amen, somebody. If I decide to put something else here, this what is here now, we go outside. It's what you put in, we contain it because you cannot take everything. Are we together? Yes, sir. Just like science say water and oil cannot merge together. No way. Amen, somebody. So if you allow the oil to stay, the oil is the Holy Spirit that is in you already. Amen, somebody. Amen. But if you decide to pour water, to pour drink, or to pour alcohol, or to pour money, or to pour something, amen, that oil will spill out. Yes, sir. Instead yes, sir. of oil, stay there. Whatever you put there is what will stay there. Uh-huh. Are we together? Yes, sir. Now, let's imagine this is your life. Amen. If you are blessed, don't be, feel free to come, and, to come and bless God. Amen. Because the Lord just touched somebody. Amen, somebody. I'm saying something. This is your life. You are a believer. And then you start a journey in life. You are faithful. You don't miss prayer meeting. You are praying. You are full of the Holy Ghost. You 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 have the zeal of God. Uh And then you have been praying. And then God says, yes, that's my daughter. That's my son. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let me start blessing him. Then the blessing begins to come. Remember, this is your life. Amen. Now, when the blessing begins to come, amen, paper comes. You have, your, you, have your, you have your stay, number one. Number two, you have a job. Amen, somebody. And then when the job comes, amen, the paper comes, definitely the job comes, correct? And then you take the job, you put it inside. Now, so. And then, instead of oil, now the job begins to take the place of the oil. Are you together? Instead of coming to prayer meetings, to Bible study, to church, now you say what? The job. What has happened? The job has now taken the place of God. Amen? And then marriage come. Pastor, it's not easy to be married though. And then children come. Uh-huh. One. Two. Pastor, it's too much. Three. If you have 12 now. Hallelujah. Pastor, even to dress this, this three that I have, is too much. That's why I'm late every Sunday. You, are, you, know, you, are, you, know, you know who you are telling? You are telling God. It's not me. Do you remember Ecclesiastes chapter 5? Yes, sir. That when you grumble... When you say, even when you give, so it's but it was by mistake. Or even when you when you make a pledge, say it was a, mis- a mistake. I make that pledge. When you grumble of anything, the Bible said in Ecclesiastes chapter five, Amen. He say you are you you are a fool. Say because you just speak against God. He say and God will take it from you. Are you together? So every blessing that the Lord himself gives you, you turn it now to be an excuse why you cannot, we cannot serve God anymore. Because why? It's only one you. Are we together? Now the blessings are not supposed to take the place of God. The blessings are not supposed to take the place of prayer. The blessings are not supposed to, play, to take the place of Bible study. The blessings are not supposed to take the place of your Sunday worship. I'm helping somebody here. That's why anything, any blessing that comes your way, there must be a backing. There must be something that surrounds you, not be in you. Yes, sir. God is one that's supposed to be and remain in you. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Are we together? Yes, sir. When you see believers chasing jobs that take their time for God away. Oh. Chasing. They are the ones chasing the job. Yes, sir. And then after that, they will be telling God, God is the job. No, uh-huh. God did not give you the job. It's you that have that job. It's the family. God is the husband that you give you. No, God did not give you the husband. It's the husband that you want. Or it's the wife that you want. 
Are we together? That's yes, why it's a be not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. So if you are a believer, you must marry a believer. Yes, sir. That's that both of you will love the Lord for together. Yes, sir. But when when you cease from being a believer, you become an unbeliever, your eyes become sharp like an owl. So see all the unbelievers, the way they dress. You are looking at their shape, at their color, at their style, at everything. But you don't see nobody in church. All the women you are looking at, they are outside. All the men that are coming your way. Pastor, pray for me. All the men that are coming my way are unbelievers. They have money. Some of them are married men. Some of them, they have business. But they don't know God. That's your problem. Do, do you want me to choose for you? Oh. And when pastor directs you, say, I thought pastor loved me, then you leave church. It's pastor that stopped, that blocked my way. But I know pastor, that's why I don't tell him my business. He will not, he will not support what I want. The question is, do you want me to become a sinner too? And support what you want? When I know that it is not the will of God. Uh -huh. You see, that's why you will not clap. I told you, Lord. <laughs> That's where believers make mistakes because they want to have their own will. Are we together? Most of the time, if you listen, life is easy. Amen, somebody. Amen. We must remain believers. If you are a believer, amen, and you're already married before you become a believer, the Bible says, don't leave your husband or don't leave your wife that is an unbeliever. Say, pray for him or pray for her. Amen? He say, he or she is sanctified because of you. Yes, sir. But if he rise up against your God, hmm. then you are free to divorce. Yes, sir. Because both of you are going the wrong way. But if he did not stop you, if she did not stop you, the Bible said, don't leave him, don't leave her. But when they become a canker worm, hmm. so you're growing in the Lord, are we together? Yes, sir. And if both of you and your husband are believers, and both of you are not praying, both of you are not Bible studying, hey, are hey. not prayerful, hey, nothing, hey. you view you truth now, your, your, your families are shake, is shaking. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody? Amen. Listen to me. Money is not salvation. Somebody say it with me. Say money is not salvation. Money is not salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. It's part of a blessing of salvation. Yes, sir. But it is not salvation. Oh. Uh -huh. Don't say because everything is okay with us and you are not coming to church, you think you are okay. No, you are not okay with God. Are we together? Yes, sir. But you never miss that barbecue Sunday afternoon. Oh. If I say, let me rest in the morning. You're busy cooking in the morning because you have business to go in the evening. You don't go to church. That's the word. Even Mary and Martha. Amen. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. Mary was busy listening to Jesus. Martha was busy at the kitchen, even to cook for Jesus. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He said, hey, tell, tell Mary to come and help me. I'm in the kitchen. He said, he said Martha, man, you complain for every little thing. What Mary is doing is more important than that food you are making. Uh -huh. Some of you have become unlicensed caterers. Hmm. Anybody have business, they cater you. Every Sunday, that's the time they will give you job to do. And you, you keep on taking, you keep on taking, you keep on taking, you will disappear from church for one week, know, one yeah. month, two months, you don't know, you're busy cooking for people huh? and they're unbelievers. Huh? Are we together? Yes, sir. The Bible says, be not the ignorance of the devices of the devil. Yes, sir. The devil will not come like a devil. Uh -huh. He comes small. Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. So it's an extra hundred dollars in the pocket. Hey, hey, hey. So you don't go to Bible study on uh -huh. Wednesday. Are we together? Yes, sir. Sin is not only when you fornicate. When you go and lie down with a man, you see you are fornicated. Hmm. Do you know we marry to Jesus? So when we take something else, we are fornicators in the kingdom of God against Jesus. take our personal life, our personal things bigger than the things of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. 
Amen. I was talking to to the pastor in Sierra Leone. They went to the to the site this this afternoon. Amen. Prayed there. Hallelujah. Somebody clap for them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I was telling him, I said, it is because of Jesus. Yes, sir. You must be ready to sacrifice. If you are not ready for, to sacrifice, listen to me. How many of you, you are here? You have, please man, please, please man, when that man ready to turn against you. Only God will not turn against you. So please God. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. If you are with me, clap for Jesus. As I wrap up quickly, amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In first Samuel chapter 16. David was anointed when he was 17 years old. Young in life. Amen. He did not become king till he was 30 years old. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And he went through many challenges in life. Uh -huh. Until that time came. Hallelujah. Amen. He killed a lion. He killed a bear. He killed Goliath, the giant. He was still in his journey. Hallelujah. I say he was still in his journey. Amen. Joseph. See the challenges he faced. He's a young man. God gave him the revelation. Hallelujah. It did not come to pass until he was 30 years old. If it was you, do you have patience to remain strong in the Lord so that you can fulfill what God has spoken? Some of you have received so much prophecy, but every time you want fresh prophecy again. Hold on to the one God has given you. Be faithful. It will come to pass. But don't wait after one month. You do not see it. You start questioning God. You are looking out again for another prophecy. It meant somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. It did not come to pass early. Even at that, it was noisy. Faced many challenges. But like Joseph, the Bible said, he did not take part in his brother's sins. Because they were just living all kind of life. But he hold on to the revelation that he had about God and about his future. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. When God calls you to do something, no matter what you are doing, amen, don't rush God. You know why? Because God lays a strong foundation for you. Did you not hear what I say? God is not a natural builder. Even natural builders, they take time to build the foundation. The amount of levels they have out the house out to go or the building, so they have to make the foundation strong. A building with a weak foundation will fall down. Hallelujah, somebody. So sometime. I mean, wait. When we're in the generation now, we're in the things of God, everybody wants to be pastor. Everybody wants to open church. Everybody wants to be a prophet, a prophetess, a prayer man, a prayer woman. Are we together? Are we together? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Move along with the faith of God. Amen? Amen? 
And remember that promotion comes from the Lord, not your man. Who so have been in that job for too long, keep serving. As long as they did not stop you from serving God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hebrews 10 36. Hebrews 10 36. Those of you who were watching me, you must, you must have known that scripture by now. Hebrews 10 36. For you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Amen? You need patience to do the, this, this will of God. If you have faith, but you don't have patience, you will crush. Amen? Patience is what will help you that when you face that trial, when you face that circumstance, when things don't go all the time how you want it, you still hold on to God. Amen, somebody. You don't allow the devil to laugh at God. You say, look, you say you love that sister. You say you love that brother. See, he's bowing to me. He's not, he's not listening to you anymore. Even when your man of God talks to him, he gets angry. These days, believers have become, as soon as pastors correct, they're angry, they change church. Many people have caused pastors to become false prophets. Do you know how you become false prophets? When you're afraid of telling people the truth. Because you don't want to offend them. So if I tell them the truth, they'll be offended. So you keep mouth shut. You're becoming a false prophet. Because you are not doing what God wants you to do. The Bible says the word of God, the scriptures, amen, is good for what? For correction. Amen, somebody. It's good also for uplifting. It's good for what? Rebuke reproach. If I see Pastor Dennis now, come here. Amen. At least let me make a pastor an example. If I take another name, I see pastor use me as an example. <laughs> no, that's the generation we are living now. Every little thing. Somebody said, he said, we are now in the days where people don't celebrate good things. They are waiting for one mistake. And though it is not a mistake, but in their own eyes, in the eyes of the ordinary man, to them is a mistake, but to God, it's not a mistake. Praise the Lord. Are you with me? Am I speaking right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. If I see him begin to go wrong, or begin mm -hmm. to slack, amen, and I begin to see him doing some things, he's, ma he's a married man, I begin to see some things that I don't think is right. Amen. And then I call him. I said, what I'm seeing, I don't like it. What God has given you is bigger than that. Close your eyes to this, to that, to that. Serve God. Be faithful. You understand? You know what you're supposed to do? Say, oh, pastor, thank you. And you go home. You kneel down and pray. Amen, somebody. And you know what you're not supposed to do? Did you see today? <laughs> today, Pastor called me. I, I know it. People have told him. Even though you know you are doing wrong thing. Oh. <laughs> People have told him. And then everybody in the church become your enemy now because you don't know who spoke. Then you become to church now, you are like. Because you don't know. They mean somebody. That is the generation we are living in. It's a bad generation. Please, if you are a child of God, you want to go far, you want to make heaven, accept correction. It's for your own good. When you refuse to accept correction, what is happening? It means your faith is going down. And the devil wants to win. The devil will make you become stubborn. The devil will be, be make am, am I so somebody here? The devil will put anger. The devil will put malice. The devil will put jealousy. By the time you know it becomes sickness also. Because he wants you to die and go to hell. Don't take it. 
In fact, you are older than that pastor. Why should he talk to you like that? I was telling you somebody, I said, ah, if people are looking at pastors, age, nobody should be a Christian because Jesus was 30 to 33 years, then his ministry finished. So if you, are, if you are older than 33 years old, you should not be a Christian. Every little thing we are judging. And the Bible said, no man can judge God because we as representative. But we can judge all things because why? He has bestowed authority in us to do it. If nobody is correcting, then is there any leadership in the churches? It's, I'm not speaking only for break to fire. I'm talking of the body of Christ. Are we together? One, one man of God told me, he said, he said, he said, Apostle, he said, when I went to Africa, that's when I know that I'm a pastor. He said, people all know men of God because they know that I'm, I'm bringing the word of God, not my word. They, they, are, they are eager for me to talk to them. He said, I feel like I'm a man of God. He said, I feel I just transferred my church. <laughs> I said, they did not call you. I said, people did not call you. Be strong. Listen to God and do what he continues to say. Clap for Jesus, somebody. <laughs> Amen. Let us don't allow America to be a religion. You know what that means? That you are doing it because you are in America. America will become a religion. You know what that means? There is a demon that controls America. That controls that money. That controls how you should live. How you should eat. I mean, to somebody here, what you should become. Amen? Let us don't allow it. We have one God, one maker, one savior that died. America did not die for us. I mean, to somebody. So let us be strong in faith. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Don't listen to what people say. Don't try to impress them. Amen? Are we together? Or don't listen when they cry you down. Ignore the people and please God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Ignore people, please God. Amen? Ignore what? People and please God. That's the only time you can enjoy Christianity. If only you make up your mind. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Stand up wherever you are. I want you to bow down your heads and ask God for mercy. Tell him you have heard his word. He said in the book of Revelation to John, he said, return to your first love. Return to your first love. Love God even when he does nothing for you. Know that even when he does nothing, he's doing something. Because he's using that situation to bless you. He's using it to strengthen your faith. He's using it to promote you in due time and in due season. Talk to God, everybody. Talk to God, everybody. Talk to God, everybody. Talk to Him. 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 Talk to him, talk to him. Just like a child that refused to listen to his parents, we always go wayward. We are not wayward children. We are father, our father in heaven. And he has given us pastors. He said, I give you pastors to teach you. Hallelujah, someone to direct you. That's why I told Peter, Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. I'm feeding you the word of God. May you receive it with joy. May you receive, may you open your heart that your faith will grow in the Lord. That is not only for the blessing. It's not only. It's good. Those things are paramount. They will happen. They will happen. But have patience. Have patience. Know that Jesus, his name is on the line. Because you are a believer. If you fall, the name of Jesus will go down. 
Maybe there are people who are looking onto you. The day you fall, you make all of them fall. Paul said, now that you are supposed to be teachers of the world, you say you still need that somebody keep on teaching you no more and more again. In other words, now you should be strong and begin to be a teacher now. Talk to him, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. He said, let your light so shine. Is your light shining? Your light in you is not the light bulb. It's not the light in your house. Is the light of God in your life? Oh. Are you shining at your workplace? Do people know that you are a believer and you stand for the truth? Do people know that you are a believer in your home? In your marriage, are you standing? Even Jadot. though your wife might be an unbeliever, or, or even though your husband is an unbeliever, Jadot. but he still respects you because he knows that you are a true believer. Jadot. Talk to him quickly. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. He said, Let your light shine. Lord, let my light shine in every area of life. Strengthen my faith, oh God. Talk to him. Talk to him. Strengthen my faith, oh Lord. Like Job, Father, give me that strength to go on. Job said, Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He took everything for him, he never gave up. He never said, let me go and find it my own way. He never said, let me go and find it my own way. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible said, David was strong in faith. Every challenge that comes his way, is he, he grows his faith. Every challenge that comes his way, his faith was growing. His faith was growing until he met Goliath. The Bible said when he went to the field, everybody was shaking. They were all afraid, including the military. His brothers were there, Eliab and the others. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Are we together? But because his faith was now strong, he realized that I have faced other challenges in life. I have gone through many things. I have killed a bear. I have killed a lion. They took the sheep. See, I chased them. I removed the sheep out of their, out of their mouth. He said, I caught them by the beer. I killed them. He said, that God, because it was not done by myself. It was done through the Holy Spirit in me. He said, that same God that made me kill the lion and the beer. He said, that same God, amen, somebody, will give me this Philistine today. Hallelujah, somebody. He said, he has not come against Israel, but he has come against the God of the armies of Israel. I don't know what challenges you are facing in life right now. Lord. Amen, somebody. And listen up. There are many things God has delivered you from. Can you uh, can you give it to God that it was God that brought, brought you out of those circumstances? That, that same God that brought you out of those circumstances. Amen. Hey, we take you through this circumstance you are going through now. Hallelujah, somebody. David told Goliath, he said, you come against you with spear and sword and everything. He said, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. As long as God is on your side and your faith is stronger in him, you will always win in the name of Jesus. I say you will always win in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say you will always win in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you for your word today. I thank you for your word today. I thank you for your strength. I thank you for your strength. I thank you for faith. I thank you, Lord. Lord, as I pray. As I pray. Strengthen me. Strengthen me. In my weakness. In my weakness. From today. From today. I refuse to be weak. I refuse to be weak. From today. From today. I refuse to be weak. I refuse to I be weak. I receive strength. I receive strength in my spirit. In my spirit. I receive strength in my, in my body. In my body. I receive strength. I receive strength in my soul. In my soul. Strength in me, O oh God. Strength in me, O oh God. Against the affairs of this world. Against the affairs of the world. Against the enemies. Against the enemies. Strength in me, O oh God. Strength in me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go to God in prayer now. She told the Lord. Strength in me. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Lord, strengthen me. Strengthen me, God. Strengthen me, God. 
against the effects of this word of God, strengthen me to God. Every affliction of God against my life, strengthen me, strengthen me, strengthen me to God, strengthen me to God, strengthen me to God. My Lord, My father, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every situation in my life, every situation, every problem in my life, every problem in my life, that is standing like Goliath, that is standing like Goliath, as you deliver Goliath, as you deliver Goliath, into the hand of David, into the hands of David, Lord, Lord, today, 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 let every situation, let every situation, let every stubborn problem, every stubborn problem, fall and die. Word. Any word. word, every voodoo priest, every voodoo priest, working for my enemies, for my enemies. challenging my breakthrough, challenging my breakthrough, challenging my marriage, challenging my marriage, challenging my prosperity, challenging my prosperity, challenging my settlement, challenging my settlement. As I pray now, As I pray Lord, now. Lord, every plan of the enemy, every plan of the enemy, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you now. I command you now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
be louder. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let your amen be louder than your neighbor. Amen. Shout your amen to the shame of the devil. and the Lord of Lords. Clap for Jesus. Amen and amen. Do we have any first timer here today? First time worshiping with us on a Sunday. Anybody worshiping with us for the first time? Hallelujah. Put those hands together. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. I liked it when you were a first timer because you were one of the first people in church today. Please come. I love this woman. Clap for them. Please come. Hallelujah. First time, first time. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any second time? I know almost everybody. Oh, second time? Oh, please come. Did I shake your hand the last time you came? Come, come, come. Hallelujah. You know I call for you because I want to know you. Amen, somebody. If I don't know you, come to me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Keep on clapping. Please move a little bit this way. Amen, amen. Yes, sir, come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. I want to say that as a church, we appreciate your presence here. Amen. And I believe that you will not and you are not going home the same way you came. Amen. What you have received, hold it. It's your life. And the Lord is going to use it to bless and to prosper you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in Acts 19 verse 20, it says, So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Amen. You're coming here means you are growing the word of God. Because the word of God is growing in your life. You are also growing. Amen. So God be the glory. Amen. Let me just know your names quickly. What's your name again? Okay, let's start over there. What's your name? Nene Sise. Praise the Lord. Who invited you? Praise the Lord. Your friend, they invite your friend. Your friend also invites you. <laughs> Hallelujah. These are good evangelists. Amen. Sister Nene. And what's the name of your daughter? Is that a boy or a girl? Naomi. Oh my goodness. Wow. She's the one that come and enjoy the blessing now. In the name of Jesus. She will not suffer. Amen. 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 But she will be at the end. Because at the end she was full again and she will receive joy Amen. and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Sister, invite you. What's, who invited you? What's your name? Um, Brother Genesis invited you. Um, What's your name? My name is Anna Lucy. What do you mean? Anna Lucy. Anna Lucy. These are two names. Amen. Amen. Anna Lucy. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you and you are welcome. Amen. Your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Bless you, sister. What's your name and who invited you? My name is Felicitas. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah. But the Genesis, you have to invite the right people. As you invite one, you carry three. Amen. God is good. Blessings are coming your way in the name of Jesus. Yes, mommy. What's your name? Who invited you? Hallelujah. So you come and experience some American. Amen. Amen from Germany. Amen. Praise the Lord. Clap for Jesus. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Amen. You are not going back the same way you came. Amen. You are going back a different person, full of divine impartation and anointing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, sister. What's your name? Who invited you? Susan, invited by six patient. Which one, which one of the patients? Do you know the right patient? We have patients here. Amen. It is well. Clap for all the patients. The Holy Spirit will locate the one. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. We would like to see you again. Amen. There is more. Amen. Amen. This baby is so blessed. I bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You shall grow in grace, Amen. peace, and favor. Amen. Prosperity is your name. Amen. You will know no sickness. Amen. You will grow well. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Let your glory register upon her life. Amen. May she be blessed mightily. And I bless you too. Jesus is mighty name. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you, sister. You are so blessed and very welcome. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for coming. As you are going, you are not going home the same way you came. Amen. There is favor going with you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy. Now, as I'm coming to shake your hand, amen. In your spirits, just ask God for one thing. With me, just ask God for one thing. I believe God will do it for you today. Amen. In other words, from today, God will register your, your blessing. You know, once it's it's settled in heaven, nothing can stop it. It's coming to pass. And the God that I know is not a God of delay, 
I say, God, answer quickly. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, I release it unto you now. Father, you know our heart. Give our heart desire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Spirit of the living God, I thank you. Bless her. Your heart desire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The anointing that makes the difference from today. The anointing that separates you from darkness. Locate you from today. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Help her. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bring her here. Bring her here. Father, thank you for your daughter. In the name of Jesus. The Lord answer your prayer. In the name of Jesus. That's it. 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 Holy Ghost. That's it. Holy Ghost. That's it. Holy Ghost. Take away whatever is a reproach. In the name of Jesus. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, all the way from Germany. Let her go back loaded. Let her go back and see the doors open unto her. That's it. Spirit of the living God. Jesus, help her. Help her. Help her. Help her. Help her. Sweet presence of the Holy Ghost. Divine transformation. Rukosa Kata. The Kato Rava. Divine connection. The Kato Rava. Power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 Take over. I command divine exchange. Ezekiel Tadosh. Jesus. Pick up. I see the Lord take something away and giving you what you need. Yes, that's it. That's it. Jesus. That's it. That's it. It is settled. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God bless you, sister. May the Lord grant you your heart's desire. May you never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Zico Barros. Come here, come here. Mantazo Parados. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me break something. I see, I see in your life, I see something like a shadow. A man that is blocking you. In other words, things can come closer to you but don't get to you. I break it now in the name of Jesus. God of God. In the name of Jesus. I pray now for divine impartation to cause that change, to cause that settlement in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, from today, whatever you do will prosper. Nothing will come half, they will come full. In the name of Jesus, may the power the highest overshadow you now. May you have cause to testify to the goodness of God. I break powers, I break powers. Come here, come here. I scatter any charm, I scatter any charm that the enemy used to work against you that scatter things in your hands from today if you have turned to the lord he say he that turned to the lord from today as you turn to the lord do not fight your battles in the name of jesus do not fight your battles he said, I will restore unto you all that you have lost. Because you have turned to him. Their, their plans backfire today. Their plans fell today. Their charms scattered by fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you have lost, I pray now for you. It, it will come to you double from today. In the name of Jesus. You will be a wonder unto many. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. It is settled. It is settled. It is settled. It is settled. Everybody, rise up on your feet. Just thank the Lord quickly now. Just thank Him right now. God has done something. For you. He has done something. He has done something. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it now. Yes, I appreciate it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the presence of God. That's the presence of God. He's going with you. He's making the difference in your life. Do not the battle of his presence. He's about to open more doors on you. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. He said, I need your heart. He said, I need it. I need you. I need your heart. I need your heart. I need you. 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 Ramo Salamaya. Jesus. Blessed be God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's up, my God? Let the name of the Lord be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Clap for Jesus, everybody. Amen. We have, we have a gift for you over there. That is a small gift that we have. Amen. That is a pen and a wristband. Don't forget break to fire ministry. Amen. God bless you. Amen. It's a point of contact. Amen. And we pray you worship with us again. Amen. Keep on coming. For what God has started in your life. Amen. God is about to finish it. Amen. I see some of you want to see me. Amen. Please try to see if there is any possibility we see Sister Patient. Amen. And then the Lord will minister to you all greatly in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. And if, can we clap to? Can we clap for them, somebody? Can we clap for them? Yeah, you can go back to your seats. God bless you. Amen. And celebrate them. Celebrate them. Shake their hands, somebody. Hallelujah. Shake their hands, somebody. Amen and amen.